Inside New York, real New Yorkers. My NY with Patrick James Lynch. I am uh, fast forward to ni- we're in 1995-ish or so, and yeah. I actually get an a audition for um, a production of The Glass Menagerie, which is a play I'd always wanted to do, mm. and I get the gentleman caller, and I go off in the dead of winter in Rochester, New York. Fantastic theater, Jiva Theater, but in the middle of cold, very cold. In Rochester, New York. Rochester, I mean, New York. <laughs> for 10 weeks. And I'm sitting there <laughs> wondering, okay, but is this what I wanted? Right. You know? Because on paper, this is sort of the, the, the goal, right? Oh, yeah. Like, I'm in a great, great American play. play, legit house, getting a paycheck. Yeah, great part. And, wha- you know, the whole, all of those moments when you get to the theater... To being on stage and all yeah. that are extraordinary, but Amazing. then that's just a couple of hours a of cu- the day. Exactly, <laughs> exactly. So I came back, and now we're, it's, I guess, May of 95, and I'm like, wow, I don't know anymore, and I'm thinking about this and thinking about this, and I, I decide, I'm, I, I, I'm resolute. I say, I'm actually going to leave this business. I gave it my best shot. I have the option of continuing to live this life of ups and downs or right. figuring something else out. Mm. The odd thing that I found is that I made the decision before I'd figured out what that thing would be. Well, isn't that telling, though, of how uh, the, the strength of that conviction? Because if there is a piece of low-hanging fruit, then the temptation or the transition is, is smoother. It's easier because there's a very, oh, I, I'll do this instead. When you, I mean, I, I had agents at one point that I left with nowhere to go. Beca- and that's such a big thing when you're out of school is get that agent. But the conversation broke down. And I was like, I don't know where I'm going next. I just can't be here. And I think when you have that kind of strength, you got to trust that. You just got to follow that. You do. And I'll say you do in that moment. And you sort of, you, you conjure up all of this sort of this, this strength inside of you that says, this is what I'm going to do. Mm-hmm. I'm going to do this. And I did it. And it was sort of a moment for me. It wasn't like I announced it to the world or anything. Right. I just, it was you didn't a moment. tweet it. Oh, yeah, I didn't. Well, right. <laughs> I didn't tweet it. But I made that decision. And then I said, now what? Now what? Right. And that was a terrifying moment. Absolutely. I would say maybe one of the most terrifying moments of my life. It was a now what? And how long was that moment where we literally had no idea? It was a long moment. <laughs> <laughs> it was a long moment. 